All right, all right. What's up, Cowboy fans? It's Big Slam back again for you. We got another episode of Cowboy Talk. This is episode number three. And we're going to do something a little fun since we're like a month away from training camp here. We're going to talk about who's going to be the breakout player for the Dallas Cowboys 2015 season. And I can't wait to tell you guys who I'm picking because I'm going way out on the limb, way out there. So stay tuned for that. But first, I did want to mention something about Des Bryant. And what I've been hearing about his contract status and things like that. Because the deadline's like July 14th or 15th. And we're just about a week away from that. So, I keep seeing on Twitter from the people that cover the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas. And the national media. They're all saying the same thing. And they're all saying that a contract is most likely going to get done for Des Bryant. I don't know numbers. I don't know years. I know nothing about that at all. But... All I know is that something's going to get done, most likely. That would be a great thing, just to get it out of the way. Get Dez locked up. Let's not have him threaten to hold out ball games when the season starts and things like that. Don't need that. Don't need the drama, to be honest with you, man. The Cowboys have dealt with drama for years and years and years. Just done with the damn drama. Play some damn football, man. So hopefully that'll get done. Now into my breakout player and you guys might laugh at me and say you don't know what the hell you're talking about and maybe i don't but this is just a gut feeling that i've been having i've been having this gut feeling and i had it last year for this guy too but he got hurt so there's a little hint for you so think back a little bit who got hurt last year that could be the breakout player well for me my breakout player is cornerback morris claiborne and yeah you guys might be laughing right now saying what is this guy talking about but in all honesty, think about it, man. This guy was a top five pick. I forget what year he was drafted. The draft he came out in, everybody was saying, Mike Mayock, all these guys, you know, Mel Kuyper Jr. He's the best defensive player in the draft, and the Cowboys got him. Now, I don't know if they screwed him up because he wants to play man, which we're finally doing now. But they had him in his zone, which really didn't fit his play style, things like that. But... That shouldn't matter anyway. You should be able to play a goddamn zone. You're a professional cornerback. You should be able to play a zone in the defense if you like playing man. But all right, let's go into the history a little bit. Last year, obviously, we all know he got hurt in the Saints game. I think he blew out his PCL and his knee or something along those lines, which ended his season. But the week before that against the Rams, he had a day to forget. Oh, my God, he got torched up and down the field against the Rams and their wide receivers. And I actually think a tight end beat him deep, to be honest with you, too, which was kind of sad to see. I mean, that should never really happen to a cornerback. I mean, unless it's like Jimmy Graham or something. I, don't even, I can't even remember the tight end's name from the Rams, who actually got into a little shouting match with his quarterback on the sideline there. So let's get back to Morris Claiborne. My bad. Got a little off topic there, but let's bring it right back. All right, so against the Rams, he gets torched. We all know that. He did salvage a little something at the end of that game because he picked the ball off to seal the deal, end the game. Cowboys get a victory. All good. The following week, the coaching staff tells his ass that he's not the starter anymore. And what does Morris Claiborne do? He packs his shit up from Valley Ranch and leaves the facility. Drives home. Big news story. Everybody's up in arms. Oh, my God, Morris Claiborne left practice, this and that. He comes back the next day, apologizes to the coaches, apologizes to his teammates, and everything's good to go. And then he blows his knee out against the Saints. I actually thought when they benched his ass that that was going to light a fire under him. I thought he was going to come out and be a really, really solid cornerback after that. Because just think about it. If that was you, and, you know, maybe you're not taking it too seriously. I'm, I'm a top five pick. They're not going to get rid of me. They're not going to bench me. Well, guess what? They just told you you lost your job. <laughs> so how would that make you feel? Would that put a chip on your shoulder? I really thought that was going to happen for him last year. I thought he was going to be a monster after they benched his ass and he was going to come back and eventually take his starting job back and just run with it. But I think this is the year. You can come back to this video a year from now or after the season and either laugh in my face and be like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Or you can come back and be like, holy shit, this guy was right. But either way, it's really just a gut feeling, man. How can anybody know who the breakout player is going to be? That's my guy. That's who I'm picking. Let me know in the comments section who your breakout player is. Give me a little bit of a reason. I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. 
And if you guys could leave a like on your way out the door, that'd be greatly appreciated. I know it's a little strange, I say this in just about every cowboy video I do, that I'm just doing it over like Call of Duty gameplay and things like that. But these are two things in life that I enjoy, so I figure why not combine the two, man? Best of both worlds. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Maybe the next one will be an announcement about Des Bryant's contract. So, uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.